Hello everyone. Welcome to Kavin English Learning Channel. Today we are going to start our grammar lessons. Grammar is often students least favorite part of learning English. But it's important. Without knowing any grammar, you can't communicate as effectively. Some people argue that you can learn grammar naturally by reading, watching films and so on. With no need to learn boring grammar rules. Other people say that it's important to study grammar rules and do practice exercises. But I say you can do both. Maybe a combination of the two approaches would be the fastest way to learn. You have to speak and write English as much as you can and your accuracy will improve. So, today we are going to start from the basic parts of speech lesson. Come, let's see what are the parts of speech in English language. Parts of speech. What is a part of speech? Parts of speech and I know We can categorize English words into eight basic types called parts of speech. Now, the English English level the use pandra words are eleven. Parts of speech are in a page no day a pahangal. Adanaga tivahaya pirichigra. It's quite important to recognize parts of speech. This helps you to analyze sentences and understand them. It also helps you cut you to construct good sentences. Nanga vandu grammar la vandu basic ah padikka poradhu vandu mudhalavadhu nanga therinjirukka vendiyadhu parts of speech adhan vandu adipadai. Appo ungalku neenga parts of speech therinjirundinga nda neenga vandu basic ah oru sentence ah vaasikavum elidavum adha vilangikollavum ungalku udaviyaga irukum. Adoda can construct good sentences nalla vidhamaga neenga sentence ah construct panna koodiyadhagavum irukku parts of speech there are eight parts of speech first one noun pronoun verb adverb adjective conjunction preposition and interjection so Please note down these points also in your exercise book. We will see one by one now. Noun. Noun and I na pili hai pay chal. Refers to the words or phrases that represent a person, a place, a thing, or activity, or a quality, or idea. Yula amandu mule ke. நவுனுக்குள்ள வரப்போது பேர் சொல்ல வரப்போது ஒரு பேர்சன் மனிதனை பற்றியதா இருக்கட்டும் இடத்தை பற்றியதா இருக்கட்டும் ஒரு பொருள் ஒரு செயல்லையும் சிலது வந்து உங்களுக்கு ஒரு குவாலிட்டி தரத்தை வச்சு கொண்டோ ஐடியா அது எல்லாமே உங்களுக்கு என்னத்துக்குள்ள வேற நவுனுக்குள்ள வரப்போது வாட் இஸ் அ நவுன் த நவுன் இஸ் அண்ட் எனி பர்டிகுலர் பேர்சன் பிளேஸ் திங் ஓ ஐடியா இன் எனி சென்டென்ஸ் ஐ ஹாவ் கிவன் யூ சம் எக்ஸாம்பிள் For example, person, David, a name, Emily, he, she, mother, father, grandfather. For place, Asia, Europe, America, India, Pacific Ocean, hospital, school. Things, mobile, books, pencil, desk, car, television, shoes, ideas, honesty, friendship, freedom loyalty anger wisdom and memory there are five types of noun types uh, noun lay vandu ainde vidhamaga naanga paapom first one is proper noun common noun collective noun abstract noun material noun proper noun the words for people place and things are called common noun அதாவது பீப்புள் பிளேஸ் திங்ஸுக்கு நாங்கள் முழுவதும் குறிப்பிடுறது வந்து காமன் நவுன்னு சொல்லுவோம் சேர் ரூலர் டேபிள் கார்பெட் புக் 
etc common noun the name of particular people place thing are called proper noun names of முதலாவது நாங்கள் பார்த்தனாங்க வேர்ட் ஃபார் பீப்புள் பிளேஸ் இது வந்து நேம் ஒரு அவருடைய பேரை சொல்ல போகிறோம் என்ன காமன் நவுன் ராபின் ஹூட் ஜோஸ்ட் டாக்டர் லீ எக்ஸெட்ரா கலெக்டிவ் நவுன் வேர்ட்ஸ் ஃபார் குரூப் ஆஃப் பீப்புள் அனிமல்ஸ் ஓ திங்ஸ் ஆர் கோல்ட் கலெக்டிவ் நவுன் வேர்ட்ஸ் ஃபார் குரூப் ஆஃப் பீப்புள் ஓ அனிமல் ஓ திங்ஸ் அ டீம் அ கிளப் அ ஃபேமிலி எக்ஸெட்ரா அண்ட் தி அதர் ஒன் இஸ் அப்ஸ்ட்ராக்ட் நவுன் It is the name of the material and objects is made of materials thing abstract noun adavad wood rubber tea etc material noun it is the name of the thing we cannot touch nanga thoda mudiyada vishayangal adan material noun ukku podrom adavad fear pain happiness etc so have you all get a, uh, got a clear idea about this noun my dear students okay noun refers to the words or phrases that represent a person a place a thing or activity uh, or a quality or an idea so please write down this section in your exercise book we will move to the next part of a speech okay next parts of speech is pronoun pronoun what do you mean by pronoun pronoun nu solichona piradi per endra anga solluvom refer to the words that are used instead of a noun or noun phrase in a sentence oru per solluk padilaga naanga adha poduvom pronoun na paavippa ipa kavin went to school yesterday endradhukku kavina naanga pra adha vasanathil avara peri solla porom endra naanga enna solluvom he endu paavichu solluva He studied well. அப்படி சொல்லுவோம் என்ன அப்ப அந்த பேருக்கு பதிலாக நீங்க பாவிக்க போறதுதான் ப்ரோனவுன் சொல்லி சொல்லுவோம் பேர் சொல்லுக்கு பதிலாக நீங்க பாவிக்கிறது எல்லாம் ப்ரோனவுன் உதாரணத்துக்கு ஹி ஐ இட்ஸ் மீ மை ஷி தட் திஸ் தோஸ் இதெல்லாமே ப்ரோனவுனுக்குள்ளதான் பெறும் நவ் பிளீஸ் சி திஸ் சார்ட் சப்ஜெக்ட் ப்ரோனவுன் ஆப்ஜெக்ட் ப்ரோனவுன் பொசசிவ் அஜெக்டிவ் பொசசிவ் ப்ரோனவுன் ரிஃப்ளெக்சிவ் ப்ரோனவுன் அப்படி இருக்குது ஸோ ஃபர்ஸ்ட் பர்சன் என்னடா என்ன பற்றி நான் சொல்ல போகிறேன் என்ன சொல்லுவோம் சப்ஜெக்ட் ப்ரோனவுனில் ஐ ஆப்ஜெக்டில் மீ பொசசிவ் அஜெக்டிவ் மை பொசசிவ் ப்ரோனவுன் மைன் ரிஃப்ளெக்சிவ் ப்ரோனவுன் மை செல்ஃப் அப்படின்னு சொல்லுவேன் செகண்ட் பர்சனாக இருந்தா யூ யூ யுவா யுவாஸ் யுவா செல்ஃப் third person vandu male a irundha aanaga irundha he him his his himself and solluva third person vandu female a irundha she her her hers herself and solluva third vandu or thing a irundha it it its itself possessive pronoun na adu naanga use panna maatam first person plural a irundha நாங்கள் என்றது நாங்கள் ப்ளூரல் ஆயிருந்த வி அஸ் ஆஸ் ஆ செல்ஸ் என்று பாவிப்போம் செகண்ட் பர்சன் வந்து ப்ளூரல் ஆயிருந்த யூ யூ யுவா யுவாஸ் யுவா செல்ஃப் செல்ஸ் யுவா செல்ஸ் என்று பாவிப்போம் தேர்ட் பர்சன் அண்ட் திங் ப்ளூரல் ஆயிருந்த தே தெம் தேஆ தேஸ் தெம் செல்ஸ் என்று சொல்லி நாங்க பாவிப்போம் ஸோ ப்ரோனவுன் refer refer to the words that are used instead of a noun or noun phrase in a sentence so please write down this uh, definition and also this chart in your exercise book so that it will be very easy to identify the pronoun for yourself next one is a verb verb and i verb and we need to refer to the words or group of words that describe an action vinay cholanda enna or said paata kurikku action experience or express a state of being run sit stand go have get promise invite etc verbs enna ungalku nalla theriyum andha padathil moolamaga neenga paakalam we can see in these pictures also run look listen laugh drink 
paint, dance, kick, ride, ride. This is also verbs. So please write down this definition and also examples in your exercise book. Okay, next one is adverb. Adverb and so on. Vinay adai chol. Vinay chol lai var nikiradu vandu adverb. Refers to the words that describe a verb, an adjective, another adverb or a whole sentence. Enna? Or vinay chol la, or adjective var nikilam or in or adverb adu var nikum. A whole sentence var nikak kudiya dhava mirikum. Badly, fully, carefully, hardly, nearly, hungrily, never, etc. An adverb describes a verb, an adjective or another adverb. It tells us how, a pretty, where, unge, when, a podu, how much, a willow, and with what frequency. How often. An adverb can tell. I'm sorry, I'm going to pop up. What do you say? How under the kula ina mari? Quietly, peacefully, carefully, slowly, badly, closely, easily, well, fast, quickly, cheerfully. Ida la? How kula vera podo? Where under? Above, abroad, far, away, back, here, outside, backwards, behind, below, down. Ida kuri kide? When? A podo. Now, yesterday, soon, later, tomorrow, yet, already, tonight, today, then, last year. Then how much? Available. Quite, fairly, too, enormously, entirely, very, extremely, rather, almost, absolutely, and just. How often? Always, sometimes, often, frequently, normally, generally, Usually, occasionally, seldom, rarely, never. These are all adverbs. So in the, uh, you can see in this picture also. Quickly, fast, gently, easily, well, carefully, badly, calmly, hard, slowly. So please write down about adverbs also in your exercise book. Next one is an adjective. What do you mean by adjective? Adjective and a pair are a chol. Pair chol lai var nikrada dhaan. Adjectives and an angas papa. Refers to the word that describe a noun or pronoun. Or pair chol lai. And the piradhi chol lai, piradhi pair ayi vandhu var nikrada dhaan. And the in the adjectives and so on. Angry, brave, careful, healthy, little, all. Generous, tall, some, good, big. Adjectives and so on. Here you can see in this picture, there are uh, some adjectives I have mentioned. Old, young, strong, weak, expensive, cheap, brave, scared, funny, boring, sporty, lazy, friendly, rude, happy. Sad, deep, high, wide, noisy. An old man. And so, now we will tell you, old man. Man under the page, so, our wife is under the page, old man. And so, he is a brave boy. He is a brave boy. And the boy is a brave boy. He is a strong person. 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 Right. அப்படி நீங்க ஒவ்வொன்றுக்குமே உதாரணம் எழுதி பார்த்து கொள்ளலாம் சோ பிளீஸ் ரைட் டவுன் அபவுட் அட்ஜெக்டிவ்ஸ் ஆல்சோ இன் யுவர் எக்ஸசைஸ் புக் ஓகே நெக்ஸ்ட் வன் இஸ் ப்ரெபசிஷன் ப்ரெபசிஷன் வந்து வாட் யூ மீன் பை ப்ரெபசிஷன் முன்னடை சொல்லுன்னு சொல்லுவோம் ப்ரெபசிஷன் ரிஃபர்ஸ் டு தி வேர்ட்ஸ் தட் ஆர் யூஸ்ட் बिफोर அ நவுன் ஒரு நவுனுக்கு முன்னால வரும் ப்ரோனவுனுக்கு முன்னால வரும் ஓ You run to show place, time and direction. If you say a place, a child, a child, a time, a child, a child, a direction, a child, a child, a child, a child, a child, a child, a time, a child, a child, a direction, a child, a child, a child, a child. Above, except, from, in, near, of, before, since, etc. 
there are so many prepositions you can see uh, in internet and uh, if you browse the internet you can see uh, a very big list of preposition list here i have mentioned some of these in en solichana ullukulla ena in on mele on the box appa the ball is on the box and the ball and the box ku mele irukku under the box and the box ku keela next to and pakkathile behind pinnale in front of and the munnale between and the rendukku idaile so idhal irukku ana ungalku innum neenga neriya vishayangala thedi paakalam neriya vishayangala preposition ah petti irukku naanga ovvanda pettiyum detail ah adutadutha videos la paakalam okay let's see what are, what is the next parts of the speech okay the next one is conjunction idai chokka en solluva conjunction refers to the words that connect words phrase or clause in a sentence adavadhu oru word oru word a irukalam phrase a irukalam clause a irukalam oru sentence la adai inaikkrathukku vandu naanga kattaya indha conjunction naanga paavipam so conjunction refers to the words that connect words phrase or clause in a sentence for example and o so after since before either neither etc idellame conjunction naanga ipa paathom endu solli sonna conjunction avandu naanga moonda pirichu kaatrom there are three types of conjunction in english coordinating conjunction subordinating conjunction correlative conjunctions undu naanga moonda classify pannalam conjunction coordinating conjunction adha naanga paathom na for and no but o yet so idu naanga simple ah paanamaaki vekkalam fan boys f a n b o y s endu potta men solichona for and no but o yet so ellame coordinating conjunction ukkula vara podu subordinating conjunction ukkula paathinga da after although as as far as as if as long as as soon as as though because before even if when where wherever even though every time if in order that since so so that then though unless until whenever whereas why ellame subordinating conjunction ukkula vara podu correlative conjunction ukkulla either or not only but neither no both and whether or just as so the the as 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 much as no sooner than rather than idellame correlative conjunction ukkulla vara podu so conjunction refer to the words that connects words phrases or clauses in a sentence please write down this definition and also the chart in your exercise book let's see what is the next part of the speech interjection refers to the words or phrases that are used to express a strong feeling or emotion what do you mean by interjection interjection and veeppade chollu nu solluvom adhaavad engada strong feelings engade engade engalukku erpar ennangal adhaavad emotions engada mananilaye naanga velippaduthradhukku than indha interjection naanga paavipam ahim aha gosh aa oh, great hey hi hooray etc here are also some interjections uh, interjections i i have mentioned in this picture hey hum ye yum wa ik ga gr er o all are called interjections so have you all understood these Uh, eight parts of the speech my dear students okay please write down this interjection and its definition as well as some examples in your exercise book okay now let's see a poem on the parts of speech the parts of speech poem every name is called a noun as field and fountain street and town every name is called a noun 
as field and fountain streets and town in place of noun the pronoun stands as he and she can clap their hands in place of noun the pronoun stands as he and she can clap their hands an adjective describes a thing a magic wand and shiny ring the adjective describes a thing a magic wand and shiny ring the verb means action something done to read to write to jump to run the verb means action something done to read to write to jump to run how things are done the adverbs tell as quickly slowly badly well how things are done the adverbs tell as quickly slowly badly well the preposition shows relation as in the streets or at the station the preposition shows relation as in the street or at the station conjunctions join in many ways sentences words or phrases phrase and phrase conjunctions join in many ways sentence words or phrase and phrase the interjection cries out hack i need an exclamation mark the interjection cries out hack i need an exclamation mark through poetry we learn how each of these make up the parts of speech through poetry we learn how each of these make up the parts of speech okay my dear students hope you all enjoyed and understood today's parts of the speech lesson very well i will meet you soon with an interesting lesson later bye